Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. You can see with me 1993 Toyota pickup. It's pretty lovely. It's a, a legendary manual, right? It's pretty cool inside as you can see. No damage. Seats are really comfortable. I dig these things. This one has a famous 22 RE. Right? Here you can have a brief look. Still the distributor at this year, right? So it's pretty cool. And it came here for overheating and if you have to diagnose these things I will always remind you start at the basics right so when the radiator was cold on touch right I knew it will not blow up on me when I will remove the cap I did that and look the cap the rubber it's all gone right so this cap needs to be replaced and I can just hope that this radiator is in the good shape it doesn't have any cracks or it's not leaking right when I opened that there was missing one and a half gallons of the coolant right so the radiator was almost empty also the expansion tank was completely empty right right now I added just water for the testing purposes <laughs> I filled it up I already ran it right it was blowing perfectly hot air inside and because of that using it right when it was full I found a problem this is being driven not on the streets but more like in the forest area it's a low so the person cannot really see any drips on the nice concrete driveway and I'm assuming that's why he couldn't see what's happening right if you are in different environment it's hard to see but here is the radiator drain plug draining hose right and as you can see you perfectly can see that Toyota color right this will be a long life coolant and it's slowly leaking without me doing anything so this should be could be hopefully we have a great news for the owner I will drain that radiator and replace the o-ring on that valve and hopefully that will stop the leak I will be able to run it I will replace this deteriorated cap right this is a junk you don't replace just that rubber that's just the whole cap for ten dollars and hopefully that will solve the problem right. now to undo that drain valve took me for a really long time because it seems to be cross threaded also look at the color of the coolant i look in the history of this vehicle six months ago it was at the dealer for 90,000 miles uh, service and it looks to me like instead of long life coolant there they put in it super long life coolant very interesting I'm not sure if I have mentioned that but also check that coolant fan clutch right that it's correctly operating and there's no problem with that so it's still draining and then we will look together on the condition of that drain valve and here we can together observe the reason why this was malfunctioning you see that black part that's the o-ring which is supposed to be right the holding everything and stopping it from leaking and you see that's completely chewed up broken and that's where the coolant was getting by and draining through that small drain pipe so I will go through my o-rings right I have a set of those I will replace the failed one put the new one on the wealth put some conditioner on it that it nicely goes inside also lubricate this thread because that was hard really hard to get it out and 
Also before putting it back I'm using this small pick and I will reach in that radiator opening that in that small hole and I will make sure there are no remainings right of this rubber left there so everything can travel inside perfectly and there will be no problems with the sealing that area here is the new o-ring installed right on this drain valve here is a rubber gasket and sealant dressing so let me apply that and I hope that will be going inside way better I've had to use the pliers as I said right that thread felt like cross threaded so I'm putting a lot of it but it doesn't matter right and let me screw it back I completely screwed in that valve, that drain valve, right? I swept underneath it with the mop I mopped, so we will see if it leaks. And let's start filling that cooling system. You all know from different videos that this adapter, right? That's for bleeding air from the cooling system after you replace either water pump or something right or radiator so you choose one of these adapters which will fit there and they will not leak I believe this is that standard Toyota I keep using yeah that's tight so I just put this adapter in nice and tight and I'm ready to start filling it since the dealer used super long life i don't want to mix it with the long life which belongs there and i will also use super long life so you see right it's a pink color instead of the red color super long life is the latest the long life was before it has the red color so i will go ahead and start filling the system until it will stop coming in right then it will be time to start up the engine let it run and get those bubbles get them out of the cooling system here you can see the detail how it's coming in right it's still getting in the radiator and you can see the detail that nothing is leaking underneath the vehicle and sure enough I need more right it's empty right now everything went in so I just have to keep filling it up and I better don't forget to fill up to the max to the full the expansion tank right which is right here and the radiator it's dumping or taking coolant from this expansion tank as it is needed so that goes all the way to the full i can install this whole pipe in right with that overflow here until it clicks you heard it this is perfectly connected here so the system can work and i'm still actually filling this radiator and only when it stops like this right look at it you can squeeze the hose here right get a few more bubbles out but when it stops coming in the radiator it's for me time to start up the vehicle the water pump right which we shouldn't call a water pump it's a coolant pump right but somehow that name sticks so start it up all right now make sure your heater is on max you want to get that bubbles out of everywhere including the heater system put the fan on keep coming back and monitoring that it will start blowing hot air let's go look here at the adapter how it is doing it can get lower right it need, might need to be refilled look at it i'm not touching anything you can see the air bubbles were coming out boom another one and this needs to be done for a long time if you work in the garage make sure you have fresh air coming you don't want to poison yourself with the exhaust fumes now look it's coming down 
So if it needs more, I have to put more coolant. And if you do this work or diagnosis like this, I recommend you to keep everything tidy, clean and dry, right? I spilled a tiny bit here, and it might have been the bubble just spraying out. But you see, it's all dry. Why? Well, if I'm looking for possible leaks, right, which will be dripping on the floor, imagine I spilled it all over the radiator and everywhere, and now it's slowly coming down and that will be just confusing you in the future but as you can see it's perfectly holding there's nothing dripping right so so far we are doing great job and this will be actually the longest time of this entire repair if you want to speed it up you can bring the higher rpms right and you will see the Bubbles will keep coming out. Obviously the engine is just warming up, so I will be not revving it too much. But in general you need to wait until the thermostat will open and the whole system can bleed that air out. From different jobs, I have an identical, absolutely identical Toyota radiator cap, right? This is the broken one, rotted, the rubber is rotted, and junk. This one is perfect condition. So I will use this one for this customer. Right, it's identical part, it's better than the aftermarket. If you can enjoy it, I will be quiet. That beautiful ticking and clicking of this 22RE, the legend itself, right? How often can you hear them running? The owner replaced the wires by himself because it was apparently not running well. Look how they are cross, right, cross all over, it's bad. The wires are here crossing also the wrong way. So I will be fixing that for him. But now I'll be quiet, listen. Obviously what you hear is a fuel injector. Beautiful. I love it. And the coolant stabilizes, right? Even if I squeeze this upper radiator hose, it's just coolant coming, not really bubbles. But this really needs time and ideally you can meanwhile do something else you are not just not standing around and I will take care of the lift and leave that exhaust pipe out of the shop so once again right it's already like 15 minutes running we have dry floor no leaks so our problem was fixed and it also gives me a chance to give a quick tip to the young beginning technicians if the customer says oh I'm on the way to the dump I will just drop off the car for your diagnosis and repair make absolutely sure that you know how heavy this is you don't want to put it on the lift as usually and then there will be some concrete and the truck might actually fall off the lift so be very careful with that and while you are draining that air, right, while it's idling, you always have to come back, obviously, in the engine bait and check the check that temperature, right? All it can go is in the middle. So you have to watch that too. But the blower, right, it's really hot inside. It's already working. It's like a sauna inside, so that's good. It's being used, right, here are the, the belts, it opens it, right, for the cabin, so the all working. And the level is not changing, so we are pretty close to be done. And this is what I do when I make the call that it was enough of bleeding, right? I can rev it. That is the movement of the coolant because the water pump 
keeps moving it, but I don't get any bubbles anymore. So, for me that will be enough. Now, I still want to minimize any mess, because I'm going on the test drive, and after that I will be opening the hood and rechecking everything, right? So, I have that radiator cap. I have two choices. I can go and shadow the engine or let it running. I, I don't care. This is like a plug for this, and it will stop the remaining coolant, which is here, from draining out, right? Making even more mess. I will put my towel here, shop towel, the blue one, just to catch any small spill, right? Because I want to have it dry. To confirm later, there is, there is no leaks whatsoever. This is perfectly in. I can remove the whole adapter, right? And while it's running, it's not gushing out or anything, right? It's the right air. I will install the good radiator cap. I don't want to pinch this thing in it, right? Boom, boom. And that's it. I will go and clean up again, dry it up. This is the detail of how it works, right? And I'm ready to go for a test drive. Again, keeping everything dry, because this could be leaking too, right? When it's getting hot, so I wanna be able to see it in the case I have any additional problems after the test drive. But guess what? It's gonna be great, we already know it. You know it, I know it, right? Everything is perfect, we have no leaks. And I just came from a longer test drive, making absolutely sure there's no other problems. So let's go and check it, right? So first of all, absolutely nothing coming off that tube, right? We have everything perfect here. That new cap is working perfectly here. This is still having the coolant as it's supposed to be, right? So everything is working fantastic. Also, the engine really ticks like a Swiss watch. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You find it helpful and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.